Well, what's up, YouTube? Um, gonna do a little bit of a different kind of video uh, today. Actually, something that uh, kind of means a lot to me, and uh, maybe you'll get some value from it. This is gonna be a little bit different than what I normally do. Now, if you normally watch my channel, you know that um, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks pretty much every day on YouTube, and basically just post them on uh, the, the channel here. And we're gonna continue to do that. That's not gonna change. Um, but I wanted to share with you a little bit of my personal journey and some of my personal goals for goals for 2021. Now, everybody knows that uh, today's January 2nd and January 2nd is an interesting day because um, like a lot of you, 2020 has been a really hard year for me and for my family. Um, in 2020, I basically moved across the country and um, to work at a local church and um, my story really quickly short um, if you know anything about church in 2020 it's hard to gather and so uh, as a church we haven't been able to gather and I actually haven't been able to meet any of the people really um, with the exception of a couple people here and there um, that I'm leading and so it's been just kind of hard for me to be honest with you and um, YouTube has kind of served as that platform that place that I feel comfortable that I know um, and that I can be uh, I guess uh, in charge uh, if, for lack of a better word um, but I'm going to take a little bit of a different step with this because I think something that I have feared for a long time, um, has actually maybe would resonate with some of you guys. And it's basically that for a long time, I've kind of let my circumstances define, uh, my actions. So if, if the year's going well, then typically I'm in a good spot. And if a year's not going well, like 2020, um, then it can lead me to a very, you know, just very self-defeating negative habits. And I think part of the reason for that is because I haven't really invited a lot of accountability into my life. I mean, I kind of, you know, will give you guys a video on a tip that I know and understand and I can explain it. Um, but I don't like to lose. And to be honest, 2020 was a year that I lost a lot. Um, lost a lot of money. Lost a lot of relationships. Lost a lot of time that I'll probably never get back. Um, and just lost a lot of hope to be honest, and kind of let my circumstances around me with the world and everything that was going on kind of define um, my habits, define my actions. And so uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, in the latter part of 2019 and the beginning of 2020, um, I actually went on a weight loss journey and basically was able to lose um, over 60 pounds within like three, I think it was like two to three months and was probably at the healthiest that I'd been, uh, in a long time and through 2020 and to be completely honest with you, um, just a lack of discipline. And honestly, a lot of that was stemming from that lack of hope and kind of feeling like my world had really been kind of, um, just pulled from, from underneath me, um, gained all of that weight back and gained more weight back. Uh, and in fact, put on probably uh, close to 75 to 90 pounds of just pure um, stress eating, to be honest, uh, junk food and, and honestly just finding my uh, comfort in food because it's what I knew, tasted good. And, um, and so that's what I did. And so in 2021, like many of you, um, my plan was, okay, well, we'll just get through December and, you know, you're not going to ruin Christmas. So, um, we'll let yourself eat whatever you want to eat, uh, for the month of December. And in the month of January, you're going to start over. Um, that's so that's what I did, uh, with the full intentions of January 1st being the day that I would, um, that I would make that change. Um, but if you're sitting here watching this video and you're still to this point, it means that probably you have some level of like care or respect for me or what my channel has been able to do for you. Um, or maybe you're just really resonating with this and maybe you're in the same boat and maybe you're there too. Uh, so January 1st came and I um, mentally was prepared to basically get back on the diet and, and get back into the routine and start to do the things that you know you're supposed to do to be in a healthy state. Um, and I completely failed to be honest with you. I let once again, circumstances, I was traveling and I was on the road and, and I, I didn't, you know, I did not, uh, do what I said I was going to do. Uh, didn't, did not do, um, my plan and basically, you know, just ate whatever I wanted and with the full intentions of not doing that, um, uh, once again, and it kind of clicked in my head last night as I was thinking about this. Um, and, and really, really clicked this morning. 
that oftentimes we do that. I mean, we do that in every area of our life. It's not just physical health. It's not just um, mentally. It's not just emotionally. You do probably do that with Madden uh, if, if you guys are um, serious about getting better at Madden. I remember so many people have sent me text messages, which if you haven't um, sent me a text message, uh, let me put my phone number up here for you guys one sec. But right here um, is my phone number. It's 812-216-3644. And you can text me anytime you want. And it's not, a, it's not a joke at all. Literally, it's right here. I can read you through text messages that people have sent me. Um, and there's a lot of people that have texted me over the last probably three or four months that I've been doing this and told me basically, I want to go into the MCS. I want to be competitive. I want to, be, I want to get really, really good at Madden. I want to be the best in the world. And... I hear that and I get really excited by that because, I mean, you know, that's awesome to take that step. But then what happens is it's like the next day comes and all the work comes and all the work was still there and you kind of put it off for a day. You kind of put it off for another day. And to be honest with you, that's kind of what I've done. You know, 2020 has been such a tough year for me personally, um, just through all of the pain that I've been through that I've put off some of my uh, life goals, some of the things that I wanted to accomplish for pretty much the entire year. And I guess what I'm trying to get at is I think you can, I, I definitely think that I've done that with Matt and I think that a lot of people have, you know, everyone says, uh, this is going to be the year that I compete in the MCS. And then for whatever reason you choose not to, or you're not good enough or whatever it might be. And I guess what I want to get at here is I think that part of the biggest reason for me as to why that I've been able to get away with that, I guess, in the past, or let myself think I'm getting away with it, is because I haven't really invited accountability, right? Because it's easy to lose when nobody's watching. It's really hard to lose when everybody's watching. You know, I think about Clemson last night in their game against Ohio State. Uh, Clemson should have won that game. I mean, if you actually think about what was going into that game, they had the better team, they probably had the better coach, um, and they didn't lose, uh, and they or, or they didn't win, and they lost on like a public display. I mean, everybody got to see them lose this game. To be honest with you, that's kind of how I felt with my weight. It's kind of how I felt with my uh, Madden game at some points. I don't like to lose at all. <laughs> um, I, I absolutely hate it. Um, I think anyone that has that competitive bone in their body, they don't like to lose. Um, but I will be honest, there's a part of me that really likes it when I lose, and then I can play the person again, and I win. And I think it's kind of like that with um, with my weight. And so those of you watching, here's what we're going to do. It's not going to change really much about our YouTube channel here. Uh, everything's going to stay the same. I'm still going to post videos every day that teach you how to play Madden, teach you how to play it at a high level. We're still going to do the text membership, everything that we've already been doing. But I wanted to let you know about something that I'm just kind of starting. And to be honest with you, it's 100% for me. It's not necessarily for you, but I think you could benefit from it. Um, I really do. And basically, what I'm going to be doing, my commitment, because of that lack of accountability and that lack of wanting to fail publicly, um, the thing about failure is, and I can't remember who said this or, or when I was told this, but somebody told me one time, they said, failure is never final. And I think that's kind of, I think there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, I think sometimes we think that failures can be final or fatal, and there are some that are like, you know, such drastic things, but you can come back from that. And, um, so what I'm committed to for the next three months, we're just going to see how it goes for three months. Um, I'm going to do a diet plan. And if you want to know more about the diet plan, you can always text me. You can, you can, you can check out our second channel and the channel link is going to be in the description. So I'm going to create a new YouTube channel. Um, maybe the only video that you're going to see up there is this one. Um, it's not going to be anything about Madden. Uh, I might share a little bit about Madden uh, with it just from a mental aspect of the game. Um, but you're not going to see any like tips and tricks or anything on there. Um, but what it's going to really be about is me documenting my journey, uh, documenting the high points and the low points. Because here's the deal. Today's January 2nd. And if you're like me, you failed your New Year's resolution on the very first day. And the second is where you have the opportunity to make that decision, whether or not you want to continue to try, whether or not you want to continue to put the effort in um, to try to make your goals come true. And we get the choice to do that every single day. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're in my shoes and you let something that you wanted to do slip away from you on the first, that you would commit to 
trying to do it on the second and on the third and on the fourth and on the fifth and so what I'm gonna do with this YouTube channel is basically just document it it's not gonna be they're not gonna be long videos this will probably be one of the longer videos that I ever post about it um, I might do different tips and tricks on how to not eat a carbohydrate or how to not eat um, a cheeseburger or something but but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna document my journey I'm gonna document the high points the low points I'm gonna document the the days that are, are really really difficult for me and I'm gonna document the days that aren't and they're not gonna be long videos they're probably gonna be about three minutes at the most um, but basically just me checking in and to be honest it's for me it's it's for me to stay accountable to this because I've tried a lot of different accountabilities um, accountability methods in the past and I think this one um, has a chance to work uh, and so um, but yeah, I think if you're interested, uh, just hit me up. You can text me. The link to the second channel is going to be in the description. Um, we're going to be posting like some, probably at some point, we're going to post like some um, recipes and some, you know, different tips about how to actually, you know, get through this. Um, because I think where I sit right now, you know, it looks like a monumental task. Uh, but I think as we dive into it, what we'll find out is that taking it one step at a time and keeping focused on our goals and not letting the circumstances around us, whether our job gets tough or, um, you know, one of our relationships falls through the cracks or things get hard, um, not letting our circumstances define our goals. So if you're interested in following my journey, if you have any questions about it, you can always hit me up via text. This is not, uh, you know, there's no like, there's no agenda at all. Um, and I can't stress that enough that there it truly is uh, for those of you guys that and I wanted to do this video for you guys because for those of you guys that have been following me for you know any number of years you know all you've ever seen is Madden and um, this is just a different side of me and I think for those of you guys that are really some of my dearest friends that I've made through this or some of my dearest followers um, I think you'll appreciate this I think that this will help and uh, I think this will help with you you with whatever goals you have whether it be healthy uh, whether it be financially, whether it be you know spiritually, whether it be relationally, um, you know I, I was I was looking through some some people's different New Year's resolutions, people that I know, um, and we have all different ones. Some of us want to get better grades in school. Some of us want to um, you know have have meet that person, meet that special someone on you know either side. Um, one of some of us want to just be a better man player. Some of us want to be uh, better students, better athletes, better better uh, husbands, better wives, better better kids. Uh, some of us just want to lose weight, right? That's probably mine. Um, but the reality is, I think that again on January first, oftentimes we pipe up January first to be this huge day that we're going to change our life for the better. And then January 1st comes and something happens where we fail or we slip up. And on January 2nd, we kind of go back to what we've always done. And so for me, on January 2nd of 2021, my commitment to you guys as a channel and my commitment to myself is I'm not going to let January 2nd slip away. I'm not going to let January 3rd slip away. My commitment to you guys is to consistently strive to become the best version of myself both so I can make better YouTube videos for you guys and so we can get you know better as Madden players but also so we can get better as people you know I talk a lot about how to get better at Madden and how one of the keys to getting better at Madden is that you have to really truly love the process you have to love to practice um, I think the same thing is true in life you have to truly love the process you have to be willing to be vulnerable you have to be willing to accept coaching when you need coaching and I don't know that I've always been very good at that and so in 2021, I'm committed to trying to do that uh, successfully, uh, at least doing my best I can and documenting the days that I don't do that great because they're going to come. Um, but my my goal um, by the end of 2020 or I'm sorry, by the end of uh, 2021 is to completely um, kind of change my my health for the better. Uh, and so if you want to be a part of that journey, there's a link in the description where you can come check out the YouTube channel. They'll never be overproduced. I can promise you that. I don't really know how to do that stuff, um, to be honest. Um, but we're just going to do our best. We're going to share our story and uh, we're, we're just going to let the rest go. So if you're interested uh, in just following the journey, check out the channel. Uh, if you have any questions about the plan I'm doing or whatever, it's a pretty proven plan. I, I'm pretty sure that if I stay with it, it will work really well. Uh, like I said, I've lost, I think I lost over 60 pounds on it last time. Um, and I believe I can do even better this time. So if you have any questions about it, let me know. Thank you guys so much for your support, seriously. And um, and hopefully you stuck through uh, watching the video this far. Um, but it means a lot to me if you guys watch this video. Uh, it really does um, 
shows me you care about me uh, beyond just Madden, and I really appreciate that. And I hope you know that I care about you guys beyond just Madden. And so if you have issues, you have things you need to talk about, whatever, reach out, shoot me a text. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you later on.